More nettles. And I'm wearing shorts. Ow. 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 Good morning, all you little old feckers. And today, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna take Charlie ashore first, as soon as the tide's in, and we can get ashore and let him do his little jobs. And then we're gonna come back aboard and we are going to use some oxalic acid supplied by AG Woodcare. This is a UK-based company and they supply oxalic acid in crystal form. I've got a five kilogram bucket of it. So we're gonna mix it up. I think it's uh, 600 grams per liter of water to make into a, like a little paste. And oxalic acid is known in the wood trade for lifting stains out of uh, wood products. Um, or the sailing community, I think, certainly you old, crusty, salty little dogs out there, you know that it's good for cleaning decks for the uh, non-slip painted surfaces that have the little nobbles in there, and it gets down into the little nobbles of the non-slip paint and uh, lifts out the dirt, hopefully. I've not used it before, so we're going to give that a try on the deck, which has not been cleaned for over a year. Uh, we're going to have a look at the hull. Uh, which has had a little scrub earlier in the year, but it's now looking pretty grubby. And also there's still a few paint marks from where I borrowed a tender and, uh, well, I run into the side of the boat. There's also the, uh, the stain, the wood stain, the mahogany wood stain, which can split at the bottom in the sunshine. And it's left some pretty bad marks but let's not talk about that anymore but we'll see what we can do with that uh, and that's what we're off to today so um, yeah let's see how that progresses uh, this is not sponsored by AJ Woodca AG Woodcare um, this is uh, just me using the product and uh, if you'd like to buy a one litre ready mix bottle then uh, just follow the link down below to Amazon and I get a little small affiliate commission. Woohoo! Yeah, first things first, got to bail out the dinghy, get Charlie ashore just to do his little job and uh, have a little walk. Always a nice time just to have a look at some boats, have a chat to a few people around. Then it's time for breakfast, followed by a nice little walk along the salt marshes. Then back to the boats. There's the flying fish. I don't think it's uh, going to be flying again soon. Fine days are over.
So to do this job I've got some PPE which is my protective, uh, protective glasses, I've got some gloves, a stiff brush uh, just to stipple into the little nooks and crannies, very stiff at the end, not washed. I need uh, 600 grams of oxalic acid crystals and I've got a 500 gram empty sugar pack that I'm going to pour that into and use to measure out the correct amount. Now oxalic acid, um, although it's called an acid, it's used uh, as a base chemical in detergents and cleaning products so it's not uh, a particularly dangerous product but it is on the uh, poisons list as far as I know so normally you can only buy it in chemists but uh, AG Woodcare there you go um, they sell it in crystal form 99% purity which is brilliant so I'm going to mix in 600 grams uh, to 10 litres of water which we've got here I've got a little bit of a bit of a non-scratch scrubbing thing I've got my mops here and here and I've got ah, a nice handheld scrubbing device to get to the really bad parts. I've got my bucket and rope so that I can get the water to uh, wash it off when it's dried and back into its sort of crystal form and absorbed all the dirt. And this is my mixing bucket. Uh, so I'm pretty much I think ready to go. and sort of sticking it in with a brush, something like that, I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes, it's the first time I've done it. So, trial and error, learn by mistakes, probably not, do a bit of research first. I'll show you just down here, quite bad rust. And uh, that's before, so we shall see in an hour or so what the after is. These are my floats that I made for my uh, safety line to be able to float so I can hook it easily. £1.60 from the range, which is like a little kid's float, just cut it up into smaller and tight together. And uh, got myself a nice cheap little flotation device there for my mooring line, make it easier to hook. Does it work on the PVC dinghies? See there, I've got uh, where the paint, blue paint here. So, just an ordinary pan scrubber, and that's coming off very nicely. Doesn't scratch the uh, the gel coat. And we seem to be able to to get that little bit of dingy paint right off. Just a minimal amount of rubbing. So many accidents the first time I started <laughs> trying to learn how to manage a boat and sail. And this was one of them. Hitting the back of the boat with the dinghy while trying to moor. come off this back corner as easily but it's doing it that was a solid fiberglass tender that did that very heavy it only takes a couple of boats going past and the weight to make the boat the, the tender bounce up and down into the back and 
I haven't learned that you have to put mooring boys out just to protect your boat. So a lot of mistakes in the early days. And the early days was only two months ago. It's an exponential learning curve. Every time I come here, I learn so much. Uh, make quite a few mistakes, but they're getting less. Confidence has grown a little bit. A little bit is the operative word. Most of the problems I had was with my uh, inflatable dinghy. First time I came and I ripped a hole in it on the slipway. There was some sharp pottery or glass on the slip and I just moved the dinghy slightly and it caught one of the tubes. I was deflated. The dinghy was certainly deflated. That's all come off. Just a little bit left over here. Oh, and there. Must have given it a right clout. Clout. That means to hit something fairly hard. I'll be amazed if it sort of gets things like these sort of brownie type stains which are really really ingrained into the paintwork and then these are just sort of scratches through the paint onto the gel coat so it's going to need some touching up at some point. Whew. That's it for now. <coughs> it's, the sun's getting too high now, it's getting far too hot, so I'm dripping with sweat uh, and the tide's turned so it's pulling the, the dinghy uh, constantly to the stern and spinning it around. So. I've done, done the hull, done the decks. This is the first time going with oxalic acid. You see how we go. Initially, it doesn't seem to be lifting the wood stain, but the actual non slip surfaces on the decks are looking whiter, and I've not washed things away yet. So, fingers crossed for that one, and uh, I will pick that up with a before and after look in, uh, in a little while. Right, so everything's dried off now. And you can see, if I just give this a little polish, you can see how everything's covered in a white kind of dust, which is the dried uh, crystals. Does it look any better at the moment? It looks just pretty much the same. Uh, certainly where I'd had uh, the hatch covers covering the deck. Doesn't look any different at the moment. It is an old boat. But certainly, when you look at um, portals, you can see that this does have a covering and that needs to be washed off. And when that washes off, it might look all spocky and shiny. Some life on the Medway this morning. It's a Port Authority ship doing buoy maintenance. Sorry about the wind noise. Can't put a wind gag on this uh, camera's microphone, so we just have to put up with it. So it looks like they're just sort of checking the boys. I don't know what powers the lighting systems of the boys. Maybe they're checking that. Checking the anchorages. Who knows? Um, over here, we have someone learning to sail a dinghy. I guess going in the water and uh, the upturned dinghy is all part of learning to sail. And we've got the uh, safety craft. part of the daily life on the Medway Estuary. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Oh, there it goes again. Nah, dinghy sailing, it's not for me.
shot. You can see the rust has completely gone. There's still some black marks, that's really from dirt. And uh, yeah, it's worked. The deck still looks a bit dirty. I think it's getting ready for a repaint. And uh, I had to give it a little scrub with uh, just a non-scratching pen cleaner like I used on the hull. But um, the actual rust discoloration just lifted away. That was it. Job done. Fortunately, it's not got rid of the wood stain that uh, I think maybe a bit of bleach is going to have to be used on that to try and get rid of it. But it's certainly improved it somewhat. Uh, it's not as dark uh, as it used to be. So, well, that's the end of today's video. I enjoyed that. It's our first attempt using oxalic acid uh, for deck cleaning and rust removal. And that works pretty good. I'd certainly recommend it. Uh, AG Wood Kit. And that's pretty much it for today. Um, yeah, nothing else to show you, so uh, I'm gonna say cheerio. Oh, subscribe.